good day learners we are now going to go over to our next subsection we are still dealing with the concept of factorization and the next aspect that we're going to be dealing with is factorization by grouping now to some of you this may seem simple enough but we still need to go over it to get a good understanding of factorization by grouping let's start off with something quite easy the definitions Sometimes you are asked to factorize an expression, but you find that you cannot remove common factor. This expression, however, can be grouped and then factorized. We use the concept of factorization by grouping to factorize such expressions. And I might like to remind you now, your first question, whenever you come across any question dealing with factorization, is to ask yourself, can I remove common factor? In order to use this method, I'm going to take you back to an example that we had done previously. Factorize the following. Now, this question is something that is now simple for you. You will ask yourself, can I remove common factor? If you look at this question, here you see an x plus 2. This bracket, you see an x plus 2, which means there's the part of the expression there is a second part of the expression. What is common to both sides? Yes, what is common to both sides is the x plus 2. So I simply remove the x plus 2 as common factor. Once I remove the x plus 2 as common factor, in my second bracket, I write down whatever I have left. And I have a 3p minus a 2q. Now that's a shortcut way of doing it, but it will still enable you to get to the correct answer and my second bracket is 3p minus 2q now this was simple enough how do I go about utilizing this information to solve or to factorize by grouping let's consider another example the question would read factorize the following and I see a very very long question the one thing that I would notice about this question this question has one two three four terms. You are lucky that in the level two you would get four terms. The moment that you see four terms you understand that you have to factorize by using the method of grouping. The name suggests it's all. All you have to do is now to group pairs. Take 6x plus 9 as being one group. Take 2ax plus 3a as being another group. Now what I'm showing you here is just how to get it by showing every step. You do not have to show the second step here. But in order to highlight it, I have grouped it now into the first part and into the second part. Watch what happens now. I simply block this off. I concentrate only on this. Now guys, forget the second part is there. If I had given you 6x plus 9, can you remove common factor from there? And you would say, yes, I can remove common factor. Common factor is 3 and I'm left with 2x plus 3. Very, very good. Now let's consider the second part, and the second part is this portion here, 2ax plus 3a. For now, I'm going to ignore the sign, but I'll come to it later. If I have to take a common factor between 2ax plus 3a, you'd notice that I can take a common factor, and the common factor is a. And if I take out a from here, and if I take out a from here, I'm left with 2x plus 3. Now the moment I do that, you would notice that this bracket and that bracket are exactly the same which means I remove common factor which is 2x plus 3 and in my second bracket I write down whatever I have left when you are utilizing this method of grouping the brackets must be the same if the brackets are not the same then obviously you cannot do it by grouping or if the brackets are not the same you might have made an error somewhere along the line go back and check because at level 2 when they give you a question the brackets should be the same I remove 2x plus 3 as common factor I'm left here with 3 plus a and there's it guys factorization by grouping let's go to a few more examples example number 2 in example number 2 I have x squared minus 30 plus 5x minus 6x this is not the best of questions I wonder what's going on here with the 5x minus 6x. But for now, guys, I'm going to group them. Take the x squared minus the 6x, 
take the 5x minus the 30. Not the best of questions because some of you might have just simplified this. But I want to illustrate here the method of grouping. That is why I'm doing it this way. Uh, this obviously won't be a question in the exams, guys. What I have done now is I have rearranged. I have taken the x squared together with the minus 6x. I have taken the 5x minus the 30. Sometimes you might have to rearrange to enable yourself to get the bracket that is the same. Now look at the portion in red. In red, I want to take out common factor. My common factor here is x. In the black, I want to take out common factor. My common factor here is the 5. Now watch what happens. I take out x, I am left with x minus 6. If I take out 5 from here, I am left with, take away 5, x, take divided by 5, minus 6. And the moment I do this, guys, you see this bracket, exactly the same as that bracket, which means I remove x minus 6 as common factor, and I am left with x plus 5. So your final answer is x minus 6 into x plus 5. Once again, guys, understand the concept of grouping. I'll give you a moment to ponder about this example, allow your lecturer to explain if there are any questions or clarifications that you seek. Let's go on to another question. Now you will notice that this is quite easy, but should be getting a bit more difficult. What about a question like this? 5x plus 10y minus ax minus 2ay. Now if I look at this, I've got a black and I've got a blue but sometimes you might have to rearrange. Remember that, guys. But for now, let's try to remove common factor from there, and let's try to remove common factor from here. I'm going to write it on top just to illustrate something. Between what is written in black, common factor is 5. I'm left with x plus 2y. Perfect, guys. Look at this portion here. If I take out a as common factor, Remember, I must get what is in blue, right? If I take out a as common factor, I'm left here with minus x minus 2y. What you would notice here is the brackets are not the same. Now, that is something that you have to be very, very careful of. In the exams, when we ask you these questions, most of the time, we would want you to remove the second portion, not a positive, but a negative. Now watch what happens guys if I go ahead here and if I removed a negative instead of a positive. If I moved a negative, remember I want this first answer here, this would have to be a positive because if I multiply that it's minus ax and this must be a positive because if I multiply that it's minus 2ay. Now you can see it guys, this is the trick here to remove a negative as a common factor. Going back to this example, this was easy. Over here, guys, I removed the negative a as common factor, and I'm left here with x plus 2y. Now, if I had not removed the negative, there is a shorter way I could have done it, but for now, guys, let's just go to this, and I'll come back to the shorter way. If I take out the negative here, I'm left with x plus 2y. You will notice that bracket and that bracket are exactly the same. If the brackets are exactly the same, I remove x plus 2y as common factor and my second bracket is 5 minus a. Guys, I just want to go back to this portion here. This I got it as 5 into x plus 2y. Perfect. Let's say I removed positive a as common factor. If I remove positive a as common factor, I'll end up with minus x minus 2y. You would notice that the brackets are not the same. But remember guys, I could have changed this sign and change the science on the inside, which brings me back to where I want to go. Like one of the examples where I had to remove common factor by multiplying this area here by minus one, or changing the sign and changing these signs. You can do it that way too, not a problem, guys. But please, the brackets must be the same. Let's go to example number four. Example number four, I've got the black and I've got the blue. Again, guys, not to spend too much time, I remove common factor here. That's a into a minus 2. In the blue, I remove common factor. Be very, very careful, guys. I remove negative x, and I'm left with a minus 2. When you multiply this out, ensure that you come back to what the question was. Minus ax plus 2. Perfect. And the common factor here is a minus 2. Correct. And what am I left with, guys? I'm left with a 
minus x. And to cut a long story short, guys, what some of you might be wanting is how do I say I'm left with a minus x? I divide this by the common factor, which is a minus 2. I divide this by the common factor, which is a minus 2, and therefore I'm left with a minus x. Three marks in the exams. I'm sure you should be able to get this three marks. Guys, let's go to the activity. Factorize the following. Ensure that your brackets are prime factorized, guys. If you can factorize the bracket further, factorize it further. All right, let's go with the examples. Number one. Quite easy, guys. Up to number 10. You could pause for a moment. Number 10, guys, is a very tricky example. Number 10 is not a level 2 examination type question. This is for you guys that think you are too clever. You try to solve this one. Again, guys, number 7 is not a very good question. But I will allow you some time to sort it out. Press pause now. I'm sure by now you have completed the activity. Let's mark it and see how many of you have full marks. Again, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time with the solutions. Your lecturer will explain to you any questions. Please, I might have made an error in the answers, so if there is an error, discuss it with your lecturer. x minus 2 is common. I'm left with 3b minus 2c. Question number 2, guys. I remove common factor there. I remove common factor there. Watch what I have done over here. Minus 4 plus a is the same as a minus 4. You'd agree with that. So this bracket and this is are the same things. a minus 4 minus 4 minus a is exactly the same thing. Right. Can you see it? Very good. Number 3. Number 4. In number 4, guys, watch this. What you could have done is, some of you might be saying, but wait a second. From this, I can remove common factor, which is a 3, and then start grouping. If you had done it that way, this is where the 3 would have been removed as common factor. Perfect. Some of you might have worked it off as is. This here is 3b minus 3, which meant you could have factorized and taken 3 out as common factor. Any which way, guys, answer is still correct. Then we go on to number 5. Number 5 is halfway done, but I'm sure you would have got the answer. Watch this portion, guys. There's a plus 1, agreed, into 2a minus 3b. That bracket and that bracket are exactly the same, and whatever you have left is the 4c plus d plus 1. Don't get confused in how I wrote it. Number 6 should be correct. Number 7, as I said, is not a very good question, but you would have got to the answer. Number 8, quite a nice question again. Watch this, guys. I had to rearrange. Take the 5x minus the ax as one group. Then I took the 10y minus the 2a as another group. If you put it as minus 2ay plus 10y, you would have still got to the correct answer. Perfect. Two more to go, guys. Number 9. Straightforward. And the last one, number 10, for those of you that got this correct, give yourselves a pat on the back. I won't explain it now, guys. You can simply go ahead, ask the lecture in front of you to explain this a bit further. But as I mentioned, not examinable. With that, guys, I thank you very much. See you next time.